but it didn't matter. Because again, he but then, okay, there's a question. So then why was, um, why were the disciples told to carry the, the word to all the nations of the world? That it was good news. Right, that's, I like that, I like that. It's going to go back to the subject that we just taught you. I'm going to show you. Watch, 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 watch it. Matthew 28, are you, yeah, read that. The book of Matthew, chapter 28 and verse 19. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. Amen. Deuteronomy 4, verse 27. So it's going to, it all ties into what Christ said was going to happen. The prophecy flee deeper into Africa. Those that were left behind were going to be scattered into all nations. That's why I said now. You have to go out and teach everybody because guess what? Definitely. I'm, I'm going to show you. <laughs> the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 4 and verse 27. And the Lord shall scatter you among all, among the nations, my bad. And you shall be left few in number among the heathen, whither the Lord shall lead you. So Israel is going to be scattered among the nations and be left few in number amongst them, right? Go to Acts 2 now. So remember, when Christ said that, the mission started in Acts. They started it. Acts 2, verse 5. The book of Acts, chapter 2 and verse 5. And they were dwelling at Jerusalem, Jews. So, what nationality of the people that was here in Jerusalem? I'm Bahamian. Pardon? I'm Bahamian. Pardon? I'm Bahamian. No, 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 not your nationality. The nationality of the people. Read it again. The book of Acts, chapter 2 and verse 5. And they were dwelling at Jerusalem, Jews. Jews? Yes, yeah, Jews, Jews. That's all I wanted to get from you, right? We're gonna, we're, I am going to read the rest. We're going to get it. We're going to get it. So we got Jews in Jerusalem, yeah? So remember the point. Israel being scattered. Go and teach Israel. Go and teach all nations. Why? Because Israel was scattered there. Read. Devout men out of every nation under heaven. Where did these Jews come from? Out of every nation under heaven. Why? Because Israel was scattered in all nations. Let's, and it has some of the nations that they were scattered. Let's read some of the nations. Verse 8. Parthians. So that Persia. And Medes. You know, like the Persians and Medes. And Elamites. Elamites, that's India, the, the, if you, um, the lands of India. Elam. East Indian. And the dwellers in Mesopotamia. Ancient Babylon. Yep, that's Babylon. And in Judea. Some still was located in Jerusalem. And Cappadocia, in Pontus and Asia. So these going into now Greece, Asia Minor, read. Um, Cretes and Arabians, we do hear them speak in our tongues the wonderful works of God. Is that it? You read, you missed verse 10. Oh, verse 10. Phrygia and Pamphylia in Egypt and in the parts of Libya about Cyrene and strangers of Rome. So you got Egypt and Libya, that's like North Africa, read. Jews and proselytes, Cretes and Arabians, we do hear them speak in our tongues the wonderful works of God. So those are the lo that's some of the locations in which they were coming out of, right? What he said, Jews and Cretans. No, it didn't say Assyrians. It says it says Cretes. Cretes is one of the uh, Greek islands. No, 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 no. Let's go back up to verse uh, verse five. The book of Acts chapter 2 and verse 5. And they were dwelling at Jerusalem, Jews, devout men out of every nation under heaven. So the Jews came out of every nation under heaven. So them coming out of every nation under heaven, they spoke the language of which they were born. So if they were born in, one of the places was Arabia, they would speak Arabic. You know, if they came out of El Elamites, they would speak East Indian, wherever the language is in, in, in India. So now go to verse 11 now. Verse 11. Cretes and Arabians, we do hear them speak in our tongues. They, we do hear the, the apostles speak in what tongues? In our tongue. In our tongue. So if I came from Arabia, the apostles were speaking Arabic. So wait, hold on. How are you speaking Arabic? That's where I come from. I come. That was the Holy Spirit that, was, that gave them the, the ability to speak in tongues. Don't forget the point. We're not dealing with the Holy Spirit right now. We're not talking about... That's not, no, but that's, that's fine. But that's not the subject. The subject is regarding to why did Christ tell the apostles to go and teach all nations? It's because Israel was scattered. So we're showing you an example of Israel coming out of all nations, speaking the language in which the nations and where they were born. This is an example. 
But the ability of them speaking in tongues, the Holy Ghost came into them to be able to do so. But that's the point. The point was Israel being scattered in all nations. Yeah? So, um, the, so the book of Romans, both the book of Corinth, Paul was speaking to the Jews inside those places. Romans 101? Absolutely. Romans 101. I'm going to show you. The book of Romans, chapter 1 and verse 1. Paul, a servant of Jesus Christ, called to be an apostle, separated unto the gospel of God, which he had promised afore by his, by his prophets in the Holy Scriptures, concerning his son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, which was made of the seed of David, according to the flesh, and declared to be the son of God with power, according to the spirit of holiness, by the resurrection from the dead, by whom we have received grace and apostleship, for obedience to the faith among all nations for his name, among whom are ye also the, the called of Jesus Christ. To all that be in Rome, beloved of God, called to be saints, grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. So the book of Romans is referred to what? The saints that are at Rome. Who are the saints that were at Rome? Anybody who believed in Jesus in Rome? Everyone that believed in Jesus at Rome. Okay, so we're going to read about who the saints are according to the Bible. I want Psalms 50 first. Psalms 50 and 5. All right. Who are the saints at Rome? Not to everybody in Rome. It's the saints at Rome. Who are the saints at Rome? The book of Psalms, chapter 50 and verse 5. Gather my saints together unto me. Those that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. Who was under the law of sacrifice? Who made a covenant with God by sacrifice? Jesus. No, no, no. Who made a covenant with God by sacrifice? Jesus. What, when, when did he make a covenant with God by sacrifice? I guess you did look at Abraham. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. No, no, no. Abraham didn't make a covenant by sacrifice. No, no not by sacrifice. He did. There was a covenant established with Abraham. The covenant of circumcision, but it wasn't it wasn't by sacrifice. The sac I'm gonna show you. Go to Hebrews 9 and 9. How does he address the Corinthians in the I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna show you the same thing. Hebrews 9 and 9. The book of Hebrews, chapter 9 and verse 9, which was a figure for the time then present, in which were offered both gifts and sacrifices that could not make him that did the service perfect as pertaining to the conscience, which stood only in meats and drinks and diverse washings and carnal ordinances imposed on them unto the time of reformation. But Christ being come and high priest of good things to come. Start at verse 7. Hebrews. Hebrews chapter 9 verse 7. But into the second went the high priest alone. Once Read the high priest. You know about the high priest coming through the lineage of Aaron. The high priest was to go in alone. For what? Not without blood. Which not without what? Not without blood, which he offered for himself and for the errors of the people. What people? The Israelites. Right, so who made a covenant with God by sacrifice? There you go. That's what? Hold on, hold on. Pardon? Jesus told the veil when he died. Pardon? Yes, yes, yes. You know, you know what you're doing, sis? You're losing the point of what we're going into. I'm not, I'm not. The point, the point. No, no, no. You're, you're just losing the point, right? The point is just, just to show you who made a covenant with God by sacrifice. To show you who the saints are. To show you who the Roman, the book of Romans was referring to. Because it says to the saints that be at Rome. Right? That's who he was dealing with in the book of Romans. The saints at Rome. The saints made a covenant with God by sacrifice. Who made a covenant with God by sacrifice? The Israelites. The Israelites. Who made... The ones that made us covenant with God by sacrifice was Israel. Now go to the book of Corinth. Actually, before that, get Acts, Acts um, 18, verse 1. Bear with me. Bear with me. So we're showing you who the Romans were. Acts 18, verse 1. The book of Acts, chapter 18 and verse 1. After these things, Paul departed from Athens and came to Corinth and found a certain Jew named Aquila, born in Pontus, lately come from Italy with his wife Priscilla, because that Claudius had commanded all Jews to depart from Rome. So who was in Rome? Jews were in Rome. Do you understand? So that's who the book of Romans was written to. Okay. The Jews at Rome. So get, go ahead with the next question because we're about to wrap up. Go with your next question. I don't forget. 
get it now. What? I was going to ask about 2 Peter 3 verse 9. What does that say? 2 Peter 3 and 9. Your sons and your daughters. Let's find out. What's that about? That's basically about how God doesn't want any man to perish. Okay, go ahead. The book of 2 Peter chapter 3 and verse 9. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness, but is long suffering to us word, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. Um, Acts chapter 5, verse 31. So repentance means what? You turn from what? You turn from your sin. Sin was the what? Breaking a law. Law was given to you? The Israelites. There you go. Now Acts 5, 31. The book of Acts chapter 5 and verse 31. Him hath God exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a savior for to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins. See that? It's plain. It's very easy. It is. It's hard. It's, it's, hard. it's hard. It's hard. The world. The world. The world, right? Isaiah 45, 17. I'm going to give you the world. I'm going to give you this and then we got, we, got, we got to wrap up. So go ahead. Yeah. The thing is, is just, I don't want to like put the Old Testament away. Because okay. John 18, 20. John 18, 20. Go ahead. I don't want to put the Old Testament away because it's, it's there for a reason. But the New Testament, that has to mean something. That's what we're living out right now. Isn't, I feel like that's what we, we should be paying attention to. We see the Old Testament. We see what it was. I feel like Jesus, not Jesus, sorry. God used the is Israel as a picture for all of us as people to see his love, to see how he could care for one nation. He chose Israel. He did. But he, is, he isn't keeping his love away from any of us. All right. John 18, 20, the world. The book of John, chapter 18 and verse 20. Jesus answered him, I spake openly to the world. I ever taught in the synagogue and in the temple, whether the Jews always resort. So who's the world that he was referring to? Jesus. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, Nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.